We often get questions about FPS with shoot-off, particularly when people get warnings about their FPS being too low or when shoot-off is missing shots that it seemingly should be detecting. So this video explains how to get the most FPS out of shoot-off. So the first thing to discuss is how powerful your computer is. Shot detection and shoot-off is not free. It's essentially doing very complicated video processing. Anytime a frame comes off of your camera, shoot-off has to pre-process it to remove noise. Then it has to shoot, search through every single pixel on that frame to find potential shots. And then when, for all of the potential shots it finds, it has to do a bunch of post-processing to decide whether or not it's a shot it actually wants to use, to find the center of the shot, to detect the color of the shot, and so on and so forth. All this video processing is enough that you can't pull out the laptop that's been in your closet for eight years and expect to shoot off to run on it really well. In fact, generally speaking, we recommend that you use a computer that's at least uh, four to five years old or newer if you want decent performance. And even then, if the computer is four to five years old, it should have been relatively top of the line when you got it. One thing that people typically trip up with when looking at hardware specs is they'll just look at the, the clock rate for their processor. So they'll say, oh, my processor is 2.5 gigahertz. It should be able to run shoot off no problem. Well, that's not necessarily true because clock rates haven't gotten any better in the last few years because modern processors tend to get faster by increasing the number of cores and by using design tricks to get uh, faster execution out of the same clock rates. The second point is which version of shoot-off you're using. So the, the current stable version of shoot-off at the time of this video is 3.7.1. The version of shot detection in that version is optimized for accuracy, but it's not optimized for speed. So code tends to evolve over time. Typically you try to get it working in some base case, then you try to get it working well on general cases, and then once you have it working well on general, then you make it fast. So by 3.7.1, we had it working well in the general case in terms of basically every metric except speed, but it wasn't fast. Well, the development version is much faster, so if you, if, if you do have powerful hardware and you're having slow shot detection, what I recommend doing is going to this URL right here, which I'll also put in the video uh, description, and downloading the development version of ShootOff. That version has been optimized for speed since we got it accurate in 3.7.1, and it runs about two times faster than it did in the past. So often if you have good hardware and uh, you're running the, the absolute latest code from shoot-off, that's going to be enough to fix your FPS issues. The third point to consider though is that your webcam settings can also kill FPS. So you could you can be running the absolute latest code and you can have super super good hardware, but if your camera configuration is bad, then you're still going to get a uh, very low FPS. The most common setting that's often causes problems is exposure. So exposure is a setting that tells your camera how bright on average you want the frames to be. So if you're in the typical lighting conditions that shoot off would typically run in, conditions like this, uh, your FPS is gonna be super low with typical exposure settings. So this is using an, a Microsoft LifeCam HD 3000, which is capable of 30 FPS max, but you'll see that I'm only getting 7.5 right now, and the software that's not doing shot detection, all it's doing is displaying the webcam frames to me. Well, if I wanna get more FPS, what I can do is I can, I can either make the, the frames brighter by turning on lights in my room, or I can reduce the exposure. Now, in a lot of cases, you can't necessarily turn on more lights because you just don't have them in your circumstance, or if you turn on more lights, things are gonna get so bright that the laser is going to wash out and shoot off's just not gonna be able to see it because the camera can barely see it. In that particular case, what we recommend doing is going into a control panel for your camera. GovC View is the best one for Linux. For Windows, when you buy the camera, it usually comes with a CD that you can uh, put into your computer to install a control panel. Go in there and after you install that software and put the camera's exposure in manual mode and then drop the exposure slowly until the setting gets to one that's acceptable for, for your machine. What you should typically see happen is you should see that as you lower the exposure, the FPS goes up. 
so that you can see now that with the uh, with my exposure almost all the way down that I'm actually now maxing out the FPS on this camera and if I use a laser pointer I can actually still see shots so if I close GovC view now and I actually run shoot off shoot off's going to use those same camera settings that I set in GovC view and if I open the stream debugger which you can open by using a uh, by being in debug mode, look at the wiki if you want to learn how to do that. I can see that the FPS, this is an F, the effective FPS including the slowdown from doing shot detection, is now essentially maxing out the camera. Thank you for watching. Ask questions in the comments.